I replaced the stepper motor with a Mitsubishi servo motor. This is a 200 watt unit. And the uh, servo drive that I have with it really is an EtherCAT servo drive. But for testing purposes, it can be connected via USB to a computer. And then with the custom program that Mitsubishi gives you, you can do some test moves. Here as a reminder what the y-axis sounds like with the stepper motor. And this is what the y-axis sounds like after the switch to the servo motor. I have not spent any time tuning this, though this system does have an auto tuning function which is activated. I have used servo motors instead of stepper motors before, but this Y axis is by far the most vibrating stepper motor I have had, and uh, I continue to be amazed by how much better it gets when you replace a stepper motor with a servo motor. At the end of the video, I'm going to drop a screw on the table so that you can get an idea of how quiet the system really is now. So if we compare the vibrations as measured with the linear scale here on top on the stepper motor system with the same situation measured at the bottom with the servo motor, we can see that the higher frequency vibrations are greatly suppressed. This again represents about one second worth of data. And the high frequency vibrations in the servo system are all down to one or two counts of the one micron linear encoder. Um, I suspect, since I can't hear or feel any of these vibrations in the system anymore, that most of this is caused by mechanical causes, such as uh, eccentricities of the pulleys, um, balls in the ball screws coming in and out of play, unevenness in the grind of the ball screws, etc.